Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video because we're uh, soon on the blog we're going to start talking about equipment uh, and gear, what you need uh, in terms of microphones, digital interfaces, digital audio workstations, all that fun stuff that sounds more complicated than it actually is. Um, so I wanted to show you here kind of what happens when you open up your uh, digital audio workstation like Logic Pro X or Pro Tools or whatever you might have, GarageBand, um, Reaper, etc., etc. You uh, get the choice of how to set up your new session or your new song or your new track, whatever. Um, all all DAWs are going to be a little different in how they uh, name these things, but they're all basically doing the same thing. Um, you get a chance to set your sample rate that you're going to use and your bit depth. This is basically the resolution or the quality that you're recording at, also the audio file type. Um, I tend to use WAV either 44.1 or 48 uh, and a bit depth of 24. Um, and again, you'll have all other parameters that you can choose from, uh, but that's sort of your basic uh, setup. So let's create this session here. And you'll get a chance to title it. We'll title it something like Recording Acapella Test or something like that. Okay, and so it'll bring up a window. Now the main things you're going to have to do when you first get started, some of this stuff uh, will depend on what interface you're using. Um, I use a Universal Audio Apollo setup where I have a special software that comes with the interface. Um, most of these interfaces have what they call console software. This is basically a virtual um, mixing console as if you had a, uh, an old analog mixing console setting on your desk. Um, and this is basically going to control how things are routed when you hook them up to the back of your digital interface, but we'll probably do that uh, in a future video. Um, so when you're dealing with your DAW, like Pro Tools or Logic Pro or GarageBand, first of all, you're going to have to tell your um, software here what interface you're using. And so you'll see something like this, a playback engine or something involving the interface, uh, choosing which one you're using. So you'll see, you know, options like the built-in output, built-in microphone, display port. Um, I choose my Universal Audio Apollo, and it's going to do some fun stuff here for a second. <clears throat> so I've chosen my engine. Um, there's some other things here that we'll talk about in the future once we get to the digital interface, but uh, let's leave that there. So um, that's your first main step. Uh, you're also going to uh, create new tracks to record on. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to create one mono audio track. Uh, you'll have multiple options. You know, an audio track is what you would actually record audio to through a microphone or from uh, like a guitar. Uh, or bass, guitar, direct input type thing. Um, there are aux inputs, master faders, MIDI tracks. That's for um, if you have actual MIDI information, that's the type of track you need to insert that on. Uh, instrument tracks for, for uh, virtual instruments and things like that for playing MIDI information. But we're just going to do audio track for right now. We're going to create that. <clears throat> and you'll see a lot of different things you can pick from, but all we're interested in today is this one right here, I-O, input and output. Um, the input is basically you're choosing where is my audio coming from? Where is the microphone connected to? So if I drop that down, I'll see my interface. Hey, okay, good. Uh, where did I plug my microphone into? Uh, and on this interface, the last one I used, it has two, the first two inputs are mic line inputs, um, and I got, had it plugged into one. Um, so I, I select that. And then um, output, in general I want to be able to hear it. So I've got it going to the standard 
stereo output of the interface which is connected to my monitors here they might be connected to your headphones um, so we select that and then this way once I record enable this track meaning it's ready to record and I hit record it's actually going to be recording from whatever I have connected into line one and it's going to play it back through the main output of whatever I have uh, connected to my speakers. Um, now if you ever have an issue and you're not hearing certain things, uh, there's a lot of troubleshooting involved uh, to figure out what might not be routed correctly. But that is your basic routing. Um, and you can always check, uh, like in Pro Tools, it's listed here under the setup of the input output. You can check to see whether your interface is showing up and whether or not all of the inputs are there. Um, you can see here there's the name, the Universal Audio Apollo. Shows me that my input one and two are right there. My outputs, I can route differently and things like that. But you don't want to mess with that too much uh, unless you're having a problem. So that's the basics of just routing your track once you hook up your interface, uh, getting the audio in. Um, once you set up your interface, first of all, is your playback engine. And then also getting your audio in to the computer, in into Pro Tools or your, any other DAW like that, uh, through whichever input you've chosen on your interface. And then being able to hear it play back by choosing the output of your interface or whatever output you're listening to um, by headphones or monitors or anything like that. So again, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, uh, feel free to contact me um, through the blog. Just go to the contact form and send me an email. Um, I'll happily reply. And you know, please comment on these videos and share uh, share videos, share posts, um, and tell people about the email list too. Remember, in about oh, 10 days, you'll be receiving your ebook, um, The 10 Ways to Improve Your Acapella Recording. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.